Hello, hola, and bonjour, everybody. This is Doug from Macro Bros Bodybuilding, representing half the MB3. Three. Three. And as you guys can obviously tell, definitely back, oh, oh boy. Hardly any abs left. Definitely back to bulking. I've been bulking for only a couple weeks now, maybe two, three. And my weight is at a solid 190 in the morning. I weighed myself kind of during the day. I was 193 and a half, but I was 170 few weeks ago for the show so that shows you how much weight I've gained but I've also gotten a lot of strength back in all my lifts which is awesome so hopefully I can get some of that on tape coming up soon but anyway that's neither here nor there see the title of the video this is pull-ups v pull down which is better which is better for your lats which is better for development which should you do to get most gains okay so First, let's break down what it's even doing, both of them, because they're both, mainly they have the same goal, obviously to develop your lats, but how so? Okay, so rowing exercises, where you go this way, horizontally or whatever, that's going to be for the thickness in your back, the knots and everything, and then versus pull downs, the vertical movements, that's for how wide you are, that's for the width of the lats. So width and thickness. Obviously you need both, but if you're gonna choose one of the two for a pull down a vertical movement, which would you choose? Hmm. Well, let me show you guys them both in action. All right guys, so what I want you to really pay attention to in this video is what muscles you see visually being worked. If you can see any of them, because like I said, I'm getting fatter now, but anyway, that's what you wanna watch out for. That's a lot pull down, now let's go to the pull ups. Okay guys, so for the pull ups it's gonna be the same thing. Just watch what muscles you visually see being worked. <sighs> Surprised I can still do pull ups, gaining this weight, but I got about four, so I'm happy with that. So what I'm getting at here, guys, is if you watch both those videos closely, it's essentially the exact same thing. And you can see pretty much the exact same muscles being worked. It might look a little bit different because of lighting or something like that, you know, the camera, the angle. But it's basically the exact same thing. So what's the difference? Okay, well, one, pull-ups, you're going to be using just your body weight to get yourself up. Lat pull-down, you could use more or less. Okay, I understand they have machines with pull-ups where you can use weight to help you get up and then you can chain weight to make it heavier. So in that sense, it is the same thing. But overall, you know what I mean, lat pull-down, you can really vary the weight and it can deviate from your body weight. So which is better? Well, in my opinion, I would incorporate both into my workout just because pull-ups, for one, they're an amazing exercise and they will really build you a lot of uh, width to your lats but at the same time I don't know about you guys after doing just a few sets I can hardly do any like I can get maybe the first set 10 15 you know second set maybe 8 to 10 and then I'm struggling at 6 on the third set so for me I'll do that until I can't get any more pull-ups and then I'll go over to lat pull down maybe I'll do a row first and then I'll go to lat pull down so then I can put as much weight as I can and still get enough reps to where I'm hitting hypertrophy which is 8 to 12 so, I hope this guy or I hope this video helped you guys out. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Speaking of that, you can actually like this video, throw down a comment, and even subscribe. And remember, guys, there's always more on the way. So stay tuned. Basically, just for anything you can use it for, like let's say you wanted to work on your shoulder or something, you just put it down like this and kind of roll on it and go to the part where you need it. If you need the rear belt, you'd go back here and just so on and so forth for any